Your turn. <laughs> Is my chest gonna look like yours? Indeed. Damon Wayans was best known as superstar stand-up comedian, actor, writer, and producer, and member of the Wayans family of entertainers. He upgraded from a former dig in Santa Monica to a lavish mansion in Hancock Park neighborhood. Along with many of his siblings, Damon pursued a successful career in the entertainment industry. With almost 40 years of show business under his belt, including numerous television and films, and a few of his own shows, Damon has been able to snag some luxurious real estate. While Damon Wayans may be a comedian, his new dig is nothing to laugh at. We'll take a look at Damon's $5.4 million beauty in Los Angeles, a traditional home built in 1949 but has since been renovated and other real estate ventures. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. Wayne's first started performing stand-up comedy in 1982. His first film appearance was a brief cameo in the 1984 Eddie Murphy film Beverly Hills Cop. Well, all I need is a couple of bananas. Take this banana. Then from 1985 to 1986, he was a featured performer on Saturday Night Live. Tonight's program is brought to you by Blow Pops. <laughs> the yummy little candy treat. However, he was fired from the show after only 11 episodes for improvising during a live sketch. Together with his brother Keenan Waynes, created the sketch comedy series In Living Color on Fox. Okay, brother, okay. See, all you doing right now uh -huh. is flatulating your liquid. Okay, because I believe it was Homo erectus right. that said to expose... The show featured a mostly African-American cast and premiered in April 1990. Although you cannot forget about the token white guy, Jim Carrey. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vera Tamilo, and thanks for tuning in. The show continued to air until 1994, but Wayne's left in 1992 after only two years in order to pursue his own film career. Damon had his own television sitcom, also called Damon, that would eventually get canceled after one season. Damon went on to create another critically acclaimed sitcom, My Wife and Kids. Yeah, they're huge, but they're happy. That's right, we're celebrating our weight. That's right. Thanks, Mom, for setting such a great example. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You set the... The series features a semi-dysfunctional upper-middle class African-American and earned Damon a People Choice Award for Best Actor in a Comedy Series. It appears that talent truly runs in the family. Not only did the Wayne family have grossed over $1 billion at the box office... Should like to cut that cake. Mm. Hey, yo, hold it! Hey, yo, you trying to look at my lumps? I'll pull off my G-string and handle mine. On, let's go. I'll handle Get mine, dog. Let's go, man and their estimated combined net worth is over 300 million. Damon also has a son, Damon Jr., who is also successful in show business. People actually think we're <laughs> Please freeze! Oh, that was awesome. The Waynes have taught the world that families can work and build together. Individually and collectively, they've achieved great success. And now the second generation of Waynes are adding to the family legacy. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Marlon Palmer. And today, we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Notice 95% of you guys watching are not subscribed. So please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post new videos every day. Now, we've previously reported on Tristan Thompson's home and Tiger Woods' home. So if you want to, please go and check those out. If you like these videos, please ring that notification bell. And follow me on Instagram at that McFly to chat. Let me know whose house tour to do next in these comments down below. And let's get into the video. Damon's former dig was in beautiful Santa Monica, California. Now back in 2005, Damon paid $3 million for an ocean view condo and initially put it on the market for $6.5 million. However, as of 2018, listed the condo for rent for $20,000 per month. The 3,093 square foot pie de terre is in a 16 unit building constructed in 1997 and is one of only four top floor condos. Double front doors open floor plan includes a formal dining room where the dining area has high polished stone floor tiles and the living area has wall to wall carpeting that comes complete with a fire place. The living room also features a bank of glass sliders to a small terrace that gives ocean and coastline views. The kitchen features glossy burled wooden cabinets, granite countertops, and up-to-date top-grade stainless steel appliances. The eating kitchen opens to a small dining space with corner windows. There's also an enclosed laundry room off of the kitchen. The boat comes with two bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. The guest bedroom is a large ensuite with glass slider and access to a sheltered terrace that does not have an ocean view. However, the master suite offers two walk-in closets, his and her bathrooms, a fireplace, a double exposure fireplace, terrace access through glass sliders, and a bathroom with twin vanities, garden tub, and glass enclosed shower and views of Palisades Park 
and the coastline. An ocean-facing balcony is shared by the common areas and the master bedroom. Other perks of the residence include 24-hour concierge service, top-of-the-line security, and access to a workout facility, and a rooftop sun deck with a swimming pool and spa. The property includes two parking spaces that are side-by-side -side and a secured on-site garage. Good thing those parking spaces are side-by-side. -side. That was gonna be a huge deal breaker for me, personally. And again, if you're looking for real estate in Santa Monica, this place can be yours for $20,000 a month. As we all know, Damon grew up in a large family of 10 children. The Waynes grew up in poverty, understood at a young age that laughter is the only thing constant. Why is it I'm the only one in this entire house that can be dressed and ready in less than three minutes? Cause you're the only one in this house that doesn't have any hair. They used comedy to get them through tough times and since making their debut in the 1980s, they were all able to upgrade their homes. Damon may be a comedian, but his new dig is no laughing matter. Sure, while his former pad is pretty balling, his new place in Hancock Park is quite the upgrade. The abode is a five bedroom, seven bathroom, and is just shy of 5,000 square feet. This mansion almost doubles his previous Santa Monica home in every category. The astonishing traditional home sits behind tall hedges and a gate, and while it was built in 1949, giving off the traditional home vibe, the abode in Los Angeles is newly renovated. A two-story entrance reveals an open layout with high ceilings and dark hardwood flooring. The dwelling features a bright and open floor plan bathed in natural light, not to mention the main level features a formal living room with a black marble fireplace. Now we all know the Waynes are a big family, so the mansion features a family media room with custom seating and built-ins, also has its own fireplace. The formal dining room is complete with original bay windows and a custom kitchen that adjoins a sunny breakfast room opening to the outside. Again, you must have a big kitchen when you have a big family like the Waynes. The second floor features three on suite bedrooms, including the master suite, which has its own private deck, custom walk-in closets, and luxurious bath. Not to mention, it also comes with a freestanding tub in the bath. Outdoors, neatly trimmed grounds surround a saltwater pool for those who want a fancy dip. The backyard comes complete with a guest house with a vaulted beam ceiling and a pool, house, and gym. One remarkable feature about the gym is that it comes with its own private bath and outdoor shower. The property is equipped inside and out with security cameras, surround sound, and home automation systems. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We gotta take a quick look at Damon Wayne's former home in Santa Monica, California, then his upgrading Grand Paul Williams style estate in one of Hancock Park's most prestigious streets. After seeing that fancy little abode he snagged, what did you guys think? Was it better than his former home? Personally, I would like to take a dip in a saltwater pool myself. I don't know about you guys. Um, out of all the features at his new dig, which ones are your favorite? You guys can even go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. Also, I'd love it if you guys would subscribe to my personal channel, That Do McFly, even though I don't post. I don't post too often. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next video.